Hi there! So we're here for an upper body flow, especially for opening up and creating mobility there. When we spend a lot of time in front of the desk, it's a really such a relief <laughs> to actually finally be strengthening and opening this upper body. Um, I invite you to get a belt or a scarf or anything that's going to be probably useful and perhaps either a pillow or a soft um, yoga block. If you have a hard one, perhaps a pillow will be nicer onto your hips. You'll see why in a second. But first, let's meet into our Sukhasana easy seat, cross leg position. Bring your hands onto your knees and close your eyes. Take some deep inhalation and exhalation. Or inhale and exhale. Probably that's more English. Start to slowly release the tensions and arrive into this moment. Try to notice if your breath is a bit more speedy or if you were already relaxed before. Slowly on the inhale, bring your hands to your heart in prayer. Exhale here. We're gonna chant home all together. Inhale. Om. Inhale and bring your hands onto your laps. Om is the sound of the universe. Often we think it's written O and M, but actually it's written A-U-M, which makes three different syllables, sounds, A, U, M, which actually activates different benefits and different chakras, different energies. I'll tell you more soon, but if you try to chant it, try to be aware of these different sounds and try to see if they resonate and vibrate in you in different places. We actually do it one more time with this in mind. Inhale, hands to the heart. Uh, Inhale, hands to your knees and slowly open your eyes. Great. Now on the inhale, bring your hands to the ceiling. Exhale, bring them back to the ground. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Try to stay tall. Inhale, arms up. Exhale arms down. Inhale, arms up and then come here, interlace the fingers and bring your palms up to the floor and here try to bring your hands as back as possible while keeping the ribs in and talking to tailbone. Also, we stay here three seconds, inhale, exhale deeply. Now inhale, Release fingers and shift forward through the pelvis to go into a half fold. Stay active here. Send your hands to the ground, uh, to, to the ceiling and forward. Keep your arms next to your ears. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to the ground with your hands in the middle. Now inhale. Interlace your fingers at your back 
and here try to just without arching the lower back just try to arch and open the upper back inhale exhale great now inhale and do little pulses and bring your fists your hands to the ceiling two one great inhale and slowly exhale inhale hands to the ceiling exhale hands to the ground inhale hands to the ceiling and now interlace your fingers on the other side the one that you don't like and send your palms up to the to the sky inhale be tall stay tall and on the exhale bring your hands as back as possible and try to pause also three two one now inhale release look up to the sky exhale shift forward through your pelvis don't arch your back and make yourself tall inhale we're active we're trying to go more forward through the hips exhale release back to neutral position now inhale interlace your fingers but again on the other side the one you don't like and on the exhale make sure your ribs are in while you're trying to open your shoulders and bring your hands to the ceiling inhale exhale make some pulses three two one now inhale exhale release great now inhale hands to the sky exhale bring to the side and have a nice lateral stretch try to keep your city bones to the ground while sending creating a nice line onto your left side without too much collapsing onto your right side inhale exhale now inhale hands to the sky exhale bring your right hand to your left knee and come onto a nice gentle twist inhale grow tall exhale try to get more into the twist through the upper back inhale exhale now inhale look to the front and slowly exhale release inhale hands to the sky exhale left on the ground let's do a lateral stretch inhale exhale here feel how you're creating this energy sending to the sky while being well anchored into the ground inhale exhale try to look to the ceiling also now inhale send your hands to the sky to better twist with your left hand to your right knee now inhale make yourself tall exhale find a twist with your arms like a level lever using your arms like a lever inhale exhale in one last time inhale exhale now inhale look to the front exhale release now we're gonna whoop, shift our weight through our cross leg to come to our tabletop inhale push onto your hands and come to your mm, cow look to the sky exhale push onto your hands and round your back make a nice cat you can also wiggle a bit if to find where you need to raise attention inhale open your collarbones and really tilt the pelvis forward exhale protraction of the shoulders meaning that you're actually trying to get your shoulders close to your ears inhale cow last time and try to really feel your back muscles you know activating engaging exhale on the other side 
Great. Now, inhale, come to neutral position. And here, we're going to do some scapula push-ups, slowly, but staying in tabletop, meaning that we inhale, and we're trying to do the cat, but the cow, but only with our upper body. Now, exhale, do the cat this time, but only through your upper body. Inhale, we collapse, we bring our scapula, so these big bones here, together. Exhale, push, and bring your, um, the same bones apart. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. We're going to do that three more times. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last time. Exhale. Slowly release. You can a bit shake your shoulders if you need. Like I'm also in Vajrasana, which I cannot do because I've got a knee injury. But here we go. Shake this a bit. Great. Now come back to your tabletop. You can tuck your toes slowly to enter on the exhale into a little down dog, but you don't need to push too hard here. Just paddle your feet and slowly on the inhale, look at the top of the mat and walk forward. Great. Now inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, you can dive to enter into your Uttanasana, your forward fold. Now inhale, bring your arms to the sky. Exhale, arms next to your thighs. Now, ten salutations. Inhale, exhale, and curl yourself. Now inhale. Bring your arms, your hands to the heart. Exhale here. Now inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, dive forward and enter into your forward fold. Inhale, elongate the spine, hands onto your chins. Exhale, bend your knees, come back onto your Uttanasana. Now inhale, Send your back, your feet to the back and slowly try to lower down through your chaturanga all the way to the ground. Now inhale, come to a baby cobra. Exhale, to the ground. Now inhale, tuck your toes and on the exhale, push onto your hands to enter into your Downward facing dog, your Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, push into your hands through all the knuckles and elongate your spine, sending your hips to the sky. You can try to have a little anterior tilt if it helps you find this length and slowly anchor through your heels. Now inhale, look to the front of the mat, bend the knee and slowly walk forward. Now inhale, bring yourself halfway up, exhale, back to your forward fold. Inhale, hands to the sky, exhale, hands down. Now inhale, hands to the ceiling, exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, hands to the chin. Ahda Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Now inhale, send your feet to the back and go all the way down through your Chaturanga. Now inhale, baby cobra. Try to bring your elbows together. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, tuck your toes and on the exhale, push through your down dog and on the inhale send your right leg up and then to the front to enter into your warrior one.
So here, try to have your pelvis looking front, having a nice bend, but not too much, 90 degree bend, or just having the chin vertical. Inhale. And on the exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, send them back to the sky. Exhale, cactus arm. Try to really feel this working onto your upper back. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Now inhale, come rather to a high lunge and exhale, come to a low lunge. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, hands on your head and inhale, you open up, exhale, you bring your elbows together. Inhale, open up as much as you can. It's kind of a back bend. Exhale, elbows together. Inhale, bring them well to the side. You open up, exhale, arms together. And the last one, inhale, you open up the upper body. Exhale, release. Now inhale, tuck your back toes. Hands to the ceiling, exhale, hands to the ground. Send your feet back to come back to your down dog. And inhale, shift the weight forward to come to your chaturanga and come to the ground. Exhale here. Inhale, come to your baby cobra. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale, push onto your hand and come to your downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, send the, right, the left leg to the sky and to the front to enter into your warrior one. Here we check again our position and we try to anchor through the back feet. Again, I have an injury, I cannot do it, but if you can, please do. Inhale and exhale, cactus arm. Inhale, exhale, cactus arm. We feel how we activate those elbows and those scapula also at back. Inhale to the sky, exhale, yes. Bring them close to yourself, but not too much. Feel how it's hard to do it. Inhale. Slowly we come into our high lunge to slower slowly into our low lunge. Now here we keep our pelvis looking forward, not too much tilted forward. We bring it as if it's a bowl of glass and we don't want it to tilt too much, the water to spill out. So we inhale, exhale, hands on the head. Now inhale, we open up, exhale, Elbow together, inhale, up and up, exhale, together, last time, inhale, up and up, exhale, hands together. Great, now inhale, tuck your back toes and come to your high lunge, exhale, hands to the ground and come onto, into your downward facing dog. Here again, push onto your hands, um, the, so that they're really firmly into the ground. Try to bring your inner elbows up towards the front, not to the ground, but towards the ceiling. And you can bend a bit the knee if it helps you to elongate the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Try to bring more your shoulders to your ears. Inhale. Exhale. Now inhale, bend the knees and slowly look forward to walk forward at the top of the mat. Now inhale, Adha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Now inhale, Udva Uttanasana. Exhale, hands next to your body. Great. So now we inhale again, we exhale, we dive forward, inhale, we keep our hands to the floor or to the chin, exhale, we come back to our fold. And now here we're just gonna 
bring our upper fit to the ground and we slowly lower down to our Vajrasana, which is Thunderbolt pose. I cannot do it still because of my knee, but I'm gonna meet you in cross leg. That's also gonna be good. Get your belt and we're gonna work on shoulder flossing. So bring your hands as wide as you need. And here we're gonna inhale, bring your shoulders to your ears and on the exhale, we get to move and rotate our shoulders to go all the way down. Now we inhale and on the exhale, we rotate to go all the way forward. And if it was, this was easy, each time you can get a bit closer to see if where you feel challenged. So we're gonna do this 10 times. So we inhale, exhale. You can also change the drink. Inhale, exhale, great. Now inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Try to keep your ribs in and to have your pelvis tucked. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, five more time. Continue breathing. Two more time. The last one. Inhale, exhale, and release. Great. That sometimes can be really uncomfortable at the start because we're not used to it, but with time, so with progression, with consistency, it gets really easier. First, you need probably to be there and then slowly you'll be able to get way closer. And here we're gonna keep the same distance, we inhale, and on the exhale we try to get our, the belt back to the back of our uh, head and we try to do cactus arm and to really push we try to as if we want to tear apart the, the belt and we bring our uh, elbows so next to us we bring also our ribs in and we breathe here inhale exhale inhale and exhale slowly release Yes, great. We continue working a bit on this shoulder stretching, but now we come onto our tabletop again. But here we're gonna enter into our puppy stretch, puppy opener. So here you inhale and you walk your hands to the front, to the top of the mat. Here you think that we're gonna enter into our passive puppy, but no, we're gonna be active. So inhale. And here, bring your pelvis in and try to round your upper back. Here, you won't be able to go as deep, but that's fine. Inhale and exhale, push onto your hands and bring as much as you can also the exterior of your armpit to looking so to the floor. Inhale, exhale. I'm gonna stay here for 20 more seconds. Continue breathing. Try to see where is your edge here. Tuck your tail down. Nine, eight, six, four, two, one. Inhale and on the exhale, release into a passive puppy. So here really try to Get your chest to the ground. If you cannot, you can also just bring your um, uh, your front, your front head, or you can also bring your chin if you're comfortable. Inhale, exhale. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And on the inhale, push onto your hands and try to stay low and to come back onto um, an active position. So here, bring your pelvis in and try again to round the upper back while trying to reach the ground. Inhale, 
that's very intense. So we stay only for seven, six, five, four, try to go lower, three, two, one. Inhale and slowly walk your hands towards your torso. Great. Now inhale, come to your Vajrasana and slowly release here. Or if you want, you can come to your child's pose and bring actually your arms next to your body. We've been stretching them quite a lot now, so they deserve a bit of a rest. <laughs> so inhale here and exhale deeply. Inhale. Two more like this. And exhale slowly. Great. Now, come to your Vajrasana. And here, we're going to do up. We're actually going to do the same, but... No, we're not going to do this. <laughs> so inhale. And on the exhale, slowly, you can do a wave with your body to come all the way down onto your belly. Great. So here, we're going to be lying here. Bring your feet together. And here, what's going to happen is you bring your hands next to your body, props onto your fingertips. And now inhale. We're coming onto, into a cobra. Exhale. We go back down. Inhale. Exhale. Go back down. Here, we're going to do this dynamically four more times. Inhale. Push yourself into a cobra. Exhale. Do the wave all the way down. Three more times. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more time. Inhale. Exhale. The last time. Inhale. And uh, we hold a bit here. You can bring your palms to the ground if needed. Inhale. You push to the ground and you try still to drag yourself forward. Inhale. That will open up. Open up your collarbone and also your back. Exhale slowly, go all the way down. Great. You can relax here and bring your head, your front, your front head <laughs> to, to the ground. And here, bring your arms in front of you, your feet together, engage your lower body, and then we inhale. We're going to do swimmers. One, two, three to the front. Now, one, two, three to the side. One, two, three, palm looking at the ceiling. Now, one, two, three to the side. One, two, three to the front. Again, one, two, three to the side. One, two, three. Palms looking at the ceiling to the back. One, two, three, to the side, one, two, three, to the front, one, two, three, to the side, one, two, three, to the back, one, two, three, to the side, one, two, three, and now we do little pulses, three, two, one, inhale, exhale, release, Forehead, oh, did you front head earlier? That's fine. <laughs> Forehead on the mat. You can bring your arms next to your body to give them a little breather. Great. Inhale. And exhale. Now inhale. 
you can bring your arms, your hands looking on the ground, palms next to your thighs and pushing to the ground. And here what's gonna happen is that you inhale and here you're gonna actually bend your knees and get your thighs up with the heels touching together. Here we kind of have a, what we can call a Charlie Chaplin leg because perhaps you've already seen Charlie Chaplin you know, jumping and hitting your, their, his heels together. So that's a bit the vibe and we're trying to have this. So we do this together, we inhale, exhale. Now we inhale, we lift, we engage our butt, our arm strings, actually arm strings. And here we pulse for 10, nine, eight, <laughs> seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we'll try to stay here for 10, nine, eight, seven, that's only for the legs. You can touch here to feel more the activation. Three, two, one, more up and down. Really slowly. Awesome. That's also very important to actually activate the legs and to work onto our legs for internal good posture because that's also something, you know, if you're seated a lot, that's where we lose a lot of strength also because there, it's not natural to be, you know, 90, 90, 90, like from the knees, from the hips. So, um... That's why it's very good and also for the back bends to work on it. But now, bring, so let's get ready again, fit together and now get your hands together, interlace them and then slowly inhale and activate your feet and, and your buttocks to actually also help you yourself lift your upper body up. Here, you're trying to use your hands so get yourself more up, inhale, exhale. Try to get your hands to the ceiling while trying to, as if someone was trying to drag you to the back. Three, two, one, exhale. Woo. Go back to the ground, inhale. You can bring your forehead, your hands in front of you, which are on top of each other. Relax here or come to what we call a crocodile, meaning open your legs to the side and bring your chin onto your hands that are like a receptacle. Inhale. And exhale. Now inhale. And on the exhale, you can release and get some blocks with you. You can either, as I said, grab a block, a soft block, or a pillow. The idea is up to actually Get your block or your pillow right, right here, just in front of those bones, hip bones, because it's gonna help you lift up, up onto your Danurasana, meaning bow pose, but not the bow pose you probably know, because often for a bow pose, you know, you send the legs all the way up, trying to open at the same time, but here, we're actually gonna use our feet, our legs, to open up more the front body. So here, get ready, and here what's gonna happen. You inhale, and you grab the outer side of your foot, and then you inhale, and you push strongly your, your feet into your hands. And here, you're actually using them as a lever, to open up your front body. So you're not trying to go up, you're trying to send your feet 
backward. Inhale, exhale. Five, four, three. Continue to breathe. Two, one. Exhale really slowly. And breathe if you need. Take your prop out. Inhale. And exhale. We can try to do this a second time, but without using the prop to see a bit where we would be. Now inhale, bend your knees and try to grab the outer part of your feet. Get ready, exhale here. Now inhale, push your feet into your hands and try to open up more and more your upper body. Push, push, push strongly. Three or five, four, continue breathing. Three, two, one, try to keep your thighs on the ground. Exhale, release, go all the way down and breathe here, either in child's pose or you can stay here to relax with your forehead on your hands. Inhale and exhale. Two more breaths like this. Inhale. And exhale. Now inhale. And bring slowly yourself up in Vajrasana, meaning in Thunderbolt. Here slowly get to shift your body weight to the side and shift again your feet to the front. And here slowly inhale, send your hands to the front and on the exhale, slowly roll yourself vertebra by vertebra onto the ground. You can slowly bring your knees into your chest and be here relaxing here in Apanasana. Big inhale and big exhale. You can also roll onto the side if it feels good. Now you can slowly bring your feet back to the ground. Inhale, lift your pelvis up and shift it a bit onto the left side and get your knees to fall onto the right side. We are in a spinal twist. Here, try to feel if your back is straight and look onto the left. Inhale, exhale, anchor more your left shoulder and feel how the stretch comes from the middle back. Inhale, and exhale. Now inhale, bring it to the middle, bring the knees to the middle. Inhale, lift your um, your pelvis and shift it to the right to bring your knees to the left. Inhale, and on the exhale, look to the right. Inhale, and on the exhale, feel how you're finding yourself slowly more heavy. Inhale. And exhale. Now inhale, bring the knees back in the center and on the exhale, come slowly to your Shavasana. 
get yourself anything that you need for it. Meaning if you want a blanket, a pillow, if you want to put some socks on or back a little nice comfy little sweatshirt, get yourself ready. Inhale. And exhale. Now on the inhale, I will invite you to slowly drink as long as you want. You can after that pause the video to keep the time you want for this. To try to feel your spine. The spine is such an important structure in our body. It carries us, it's really what creates our center, it's our axis, it's where it enables us to stand and it's really the central structure of our whole body. And so try to give a bit of attention to the spine. It's really actually not that easy, but perhaps you can try to pinpoint some areas where it is and perhaps some others where you're like, I'm sure it is not there. Perhaps our work through the spine today has helped you with this. So I invite you, even if it's only for one minute, to try to feel your spine. You can start from either the tip of your crown or start by your tailbone, trying to find where your tailbone is or is not. It's a process. And then go all the way up or down slowly. I'll let you pose here if you need. Now, when you're ready, inhale and slowly shift your body to the right to come into a fetal position. And slowly you can push on the inhale onto your left and to help you come back into a seated position. Keep your eyes closed. Inhale. And exhale deeply through the mouth. Inhale. And exhale through the mouth. So try to feel how your body is, if you find any nice and comfortable sensations and try to tell yourself that you can keep it with you for the rest of the day or perhaps for a bit more. Try to hold on to them consciously if you feel good now. Now inhale. Bring your, heart, your hands to your heart. Exhale. Anchor yourself and let go of all of more tensions. Inhale. We're going to sing Om together. Call for peace through Shanti. Inhale. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Inhale. Make yourself tall. Exhale. Bow your head down 
and thank yourself for coming onto the mat, taking your time for yourself and slowly open your eyes. Thank you for this practice. I hope it will be helpful that you will feel better slowly if you practice it more and already today. That can be challenging because we're really not used to all those, you know, that's what we call prone back bends, meaning trying to lift ourselves through our muscles up out of the ground, but that's really the best thing to do to fight, um, you know, the harms of the sedentary um, lifestyle because it's all the contrary from what we're doing when we're at the desk while we're hunting and actually, you know, collapsing on ourselves when we're working on a desk here, we're trying to open ourselves and strengthen our back while, you know, opening the front body. So thank you very much and see you soon on the mat.